What's up? This is Casey from Casey's Customs. In this series, I am building a hot rod for under $3,500. In this video, we finish the front end stretch by doing a bunch of sheet metal work. Let's get going. We're back on the 51, $3,500 budget build. We got the turbo all squared away on the last episode. Basically got all the tubing done. I still have some stuff to hook up, but I can only do so many videos of turbo in a row before it gets boring. The video that we just uploaded, that was the second one. I'm not doing three videos in a row of me just hooking up a turbo. So we are going to move on to sheet metal and I want to put the trunk on. I need to trim a couple little tabs, a couple little my mounts in there. But I want to put the trunk on because I haven't seen the trunk on this since I put it on the S10. I just kind of want to see what it looks like. Then, after we get that thrown on, we are going to come in here and start filling in our gaps that we made. We had to lengthen the front end six inches and we need to start filling all those in with sheet metal. And we need to put some form in it. You can't just kind of bend a piece you can kind of bend it on your, you know, on your knee, but it doesn't really work that well. It doesn't fit that well. I do have an English wheel. I do have a planching hammer. So we're going to put some actual shape in these so that hopefully it looks good and, you know, doesn't need any Bondo or any of that shit. If it does, it just needs a little bit. But let's put the trunk on first. I want to see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. It fits about as bad as it could uh, with it still being on. I don't know why, but that's okay. It's actually going to end up coming off again <laughs> whenever I have to fill in the floor. But I'm pretty damn happy to see it on because it just looks... It just looks like a slide. Like my six-year-old is going to get up there and just go sliding on the damn thing. And that I like a lot. But uh, look at the gap over here. That's a doozy when <laughs> you can stick your finger in there. But it is what it is. I'm pretty happy to see it on, though. I'm not lying. That could be several things. I know it's out of adjustment because I just threw the bolts in it. But uh, we also could have... This back shape could have changed on us a little bit since there's just nothing there and it kind of moves. So we might have to end up reinforcing that and then fixing our gaps. But that's, that's not what I was going for. I just wanted to see it on. And it looks so goddamn good. <laughs> but... It is time to work on the sheet metal. I was originally going to put this on the car and then start doing it. I think it might be easier just to do it off. So what we're going to do, we're going to get our pieces, kind of start trimming. He's a planishing hammer that should get all my shape. If it ends up being beat up too much, we will go down to my other shop and wheel it on the English wheel a little bit. But I think my planishing hammer should be able to do it by itself. But fingers crossed, we'll see. Might need to do both. These aren't that bad. This is pretty dang simple. This isn't very much. This is a very big deal. These are, we got to curve this way and this way. And not only that, on these, since they're pretty much a gradual shape, these, I'm actually just going to be able to fill this part in. I will just be able to put a sheet here. That's not going to be the case on this because this is actually down a little bit. This is in a little bit. This is all just janky. It doesn't, I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, but it's, I'm not happy with it. So what I'm going to actually do with this is I need to make a sheet probably from here up to here and then roll it all in one big piece. Uh, it's not going to be easy by any means, but the bigger the piece you can make, the more gradual any crazy shape, uh, you know, is. When it's only this much, it looks real crazy. Like, if we were doing a complete show car and, like, a $100,000 build, you would end up actually just replacing this whole piece, basically. You know, or just, just re-rolling re all of this because one big sheet would look better and you'd have, you know, 500 hours in it. I'm obviously not doing that with this, but I do want it to look better than this. So we're going to do the fenders first, and then we'll come in here and probably start figuring this out and doing some cutting. This is going to be a big job. <laughs> so let's do this first. <laughs> Can't find my marker? Screw it. 
best thing about the planishing hammer is how quiet and soothing it is. I mean, I can just fall asleep working with this thing. This is Pinky, the most powerful drill in the world. Some of you may know or some of you don't. It has a dead battery right now, and it's still, still better than any Milwaukee on the planet. The main thing you got to worry about when using this, it has so much torque, it will break your hand. I mean, I've seen guys just, I can't remember what this bone is called, but just shattered it because of the torque, so you gotta be careful. Cool, coming along. Okay, we got these patches here done. That's still hot. Why did I do that? That was stupid. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Sorry. We got these ones done. We got these ones formed, but they need trimmed. That's what those lines are. I will trim those so that it fits, you know, in the hole. Um, you don't want to do any overlapping or underlapping. It's not the end of the world. It's just not what I like to do. So I always try and butt them up there as best I can. And same thing over here. This one's done. This one is marked and ready for cut. One thing I messed up on, there is a coating on the inside of these damn fenders, and it is a quarter inch thick, and I scraped it out, but it's still coming out in some of my welds. Before I weld this one, I'm gonna really scrape that shit out. I might get a, a torch out and melt it, because as I'm welding, it's heating up and then it's running down. What it is is a like a super thick, 70 year old undercoating and it is on there good and we can start to tackle the beast that is the hood we got the chevy hood down at the other shop this is the working shop just in case anybody hasn't been here before this is this is my actual shop these are all customer cars this is my day job technically casey's customs but my english wheels here i didn't want to try and lug that over to the other shop so i just brought the hood down um i got a couple pieces here these are the ones I cut the other day. We are gonna try and roll these to match that shape. And I want it that wide because when it's that wide, it actually smooths out our uh, imperfections quite a bit. But I got some issues here because it's not just straight down. It actually has a curve to it, as you can tell. This, you know, kind of goes that way. So, going to be a lot of wheeling, I think. I don't know. We'll find out. But uh, let's get at it. <laughs> We got one side lined up pretty good. We have no gaps. I got everything cut out. We can go ahead and tack this in place. Start on the other side. I end up making this over 12 inches. So now we have a really smooth, gradual transaction from these two. Transition, not transaction. Jesus, I'm an idiot. But uh, now it's not like jittery like it is on that side. So we get this tacked, take all of our clamps out, and then we will start on the other side. Okay, got the pieces made on the hood. Still needs a lot of welding and a lot of fitting, and I need to make a little cut there and file to get it to fit better, but the shape is perfect. Um, so basically, I don't need the English wheel anymore. You can see 
This actually runs the way it should, has the right hoop, looks good. This is also flat now. There's not a, a big chunky dip. So it is time to take the hood to the other shop. We are gonna fit it, do a little more welding, a little more grinding, finish off the front fenders as well, because we uh, still have a couple of pieces we need to weld in on that. And we'll throw the front end back on with it extended and uh, call this an episode. Okay, we are back at the other shop and I took off the pieces that I had kind of formed on here. I need to grind all the paint away and then I also need to trim the excess um, off of there. That way I get a butt weld. I don't have any overlapping. So I need to grind that down and trim it. And then I also need to trim these. These are the pieces we formed up. Um, I shouldn't need any more shape on it. But sometimes when you trim it, you know, you can bend it. So if we do, we'll hit it with the planishing hammer. And uh, hopefully we can get these tacked in there. And some of this other stuff kind of finished up a little bit. And put this front clip back on because I want to see it with the hood on. Why don't we set the hood on? No. No. You got to get the hood out of the way. You got to get the hood out of the way. Oh, yeah. Like a collar line is in the way. We should probably raffle it off. No. Probably do a raffle. It ain't heavy, but it's only got me a money. It ain't heavy. It's fine for a minute. Oh! What the fuck? Your girl fell apart. What? 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 Why did that happen? Well, because you ground on too much. I didn't ground shit. Oh, I ground on it. <laughs> yeah, I might. <laughs> I might need to put a little tack weld there. Fuck, man! It takes a little screw you can put in. Well, I never took a screw out. Oh, shit. They're God, rivets. what is going on? They're rivets. All right, hold on. Can you go back some? Oh, yeah. 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 Let's see how I push it myself. I don't need somebody. Yeah, like all I pushed all the other stuff. <laughs> all right, ready to tilt it? Yeah. The fuck is... Hey, just, just over it. My hood fits absolutely horrible, <laughs> which I was kind of expecting. I technically pancaked the roof about two inches, if you look at it. See, it's not as bulbous, which I like. Um, I kind of like them when they're a little bit smoother like that. But when you do that, that obviously changes all your shape. The so next episode is I'm going to give some relief cuts here to pull that down. And then I'm actually going to just make a new fender to hood section i'll probably just i can probably just cut the fender side and then have it match up and then put a strip in here um, but you can also cut both of them and then just have two pieces bent you know that match but we're gonna do that on the next episode it looks great the hood not fitting well is nothing i knew that was coming but i'm super excited <laughs> it looks so good um i was gonna hit it real hard and try and get it all done on this episode once I knew it wasn't fitting very well, but it's just not worth it. We've had like 30 minute episodes in the last two episodes and they did they actually did worse than like a 10 to 15 minute episode. So we probably won't be bothering that. And it also saves me from putting like 35 hours in um, a week, which is just stupid. 
I'm really cool with sitting here or stopping here and it fucking looks great. Look, we got the trunk on too. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, what? What are you doing? <laughs> that makes me so happy. Like, fuck, it's cool, man. Oh, this thing's really cool. I had somebody comment on uh, the last video. They said this car definitely didn't need a turbo. You know, it's a cruiser, it's a low rider. And he's absolutely right, it definitely doesn't. Um, I just wanted to spice it up a little bit. Thought it would be fun. You know, we built the last truck in there for a thousand bucks and that was really, really challenging. This one at 3,500 was still very challenging, but I really wanted to try, you know, and and really, really challenge myself. Like I, I almost want it to be on the teeter where like, no, it's not gonna happen. Yes, it's gonna happen. I mean, even in my own mind, not just like for, you know, the video to have tension. No, no, I really want to think I can't pull it off because I that pulls the best out of me. And then I also learn stuff. Um, I've done a couple turbo systems. I've done more of the fabrication side of the turbo system than anything else I've built, you know, tubing for people before and I've, I did it on the Porsche and I did it on a couple others but you know it's, it's kind of cool to actually see a turbo system on every engine is completely different so it's nice to kind of learn you know as you go um, the way you know you just have to deal with so many different little things with it so so I, I did that more for me and also it's cool to have a turbo I mean it's the coolest thing ever to have a turbocharged car but it certainly doesn't need it I mean it it looks pretty goddamn bitching by itself, but that's why we did it. We did it to challenge ourselves. Man, I think it looks good. <laughs> All right. Oh, also, uh, we just hit 20K on uh, YouTube today. So thank you guys very much. Um, I've been doing these weekly videos. I think I've been doing consistent weekly videos for a little over a year now, maybe a year and a half. And uh, the channel really responded well to it. I, I pretty much have went from 1,000 subscribers to 20,000 subscribers in you know, a little over a year. So thank you guys very much. It's really nice to see it uh, finally starting to take off. <laughs> Anybody that is trying to grow uh, on YouTube in 2021 knows just how crazy hard it is. Like I can post a TikTok video that might blow up. That's just random six second video and you might gain 20,000 followers from it. That does not work that way on YouTube. Thank you guys very much. 20K is awesome. Hopefully we can start going crazy. Uh, I mentioned pudding in the last episode and a bunch of people uh, were talking about how we kind of are similar in our channels because we're both, I don't know, just idiots and funny. So I'd love to start blowing up like he is because he's doing awesome. He's a super cool guy too. So, oh, also P.O. Box. Uh, a ton of people said they wanted the P.O. Box so we can start sending stuff. Uh, I'm going to probably go do that uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day. So if I don't tag it on the end of this video um, with me getting it, it will be in the next episode for sure. So. Thanks guys. Love you. Peace. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm really happy to have the front end back on, kind of getting a good idea of what it's going to look like. We still have a bunch of sheet metal work to do. I will finish that on the next episode. Hopefully we can get our hood fitting a lot better and we'll kind of finish up some of this metal work. We'll get it all metal finished and then I would like to get the rockers put on and the doors fitting a lot better because right now my doors like they don't even close. They're so bad. So <laughs> we need to do some fitment there, but uh, hopefully we'll take care of all that on the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff they tell you to do at the end of videos. And check out some more of my other videos. Peace!